We've come here tonight for a very important purpose, and that is to witness the vows and the testimony of these two as they unite in holy matrimony. We met through a blind date that we didn't know was a blind date. His brother and sister-in-law set up a meal that we didn't know they were going to set up. And so I had told Wendy, that's his sister-in-law, that I needed somebody to eat with. This was at, at school, at college. Wendy texts Hans and says, hey, would you eat supper with me? And uh, Hans is like, oh yeah, of course. And so then he's like, yeah, Wendy's joining us. And I was like, okay, no big deal. And then I show up and Taylor's there. And that's how we met and then things just kind of went from there. So it is two lives melding themselves together under the divine declaration that as God says, they too shall become one flesh. It's two lives dissolving to become one, each other fading to bring out the color of the other, each changing to bring the joy and gladness. The wedding ceremony today involves a decisive act of leaving once and for all, thus forsaking all others, and cleaving only to Christ. And that's the same picture that will happen in just a few moments as you vow yourselves to one another. You're committing to love regardless of how you feel, regardless of how they respond, regardless of all the outside circumstances. For me, uh, it's definitely a commitment that we've committed to love each other till death. You, if you base it off of feelings, it won't last for very long, but if you base it off of what's true and what's right, then that commitment can just last forever. Today, there's no turning back, and you won't want to as you sustain and grow this attitude of love and devotion to your Lord, and then for each other, because your love is cemented today in eternal and infinite righteousness of Christ. This is great joy to be able to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Jeremiah Taylor, Jeremiah Bauman. So easy when you show me the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather be with you. It really starts with my commitment to love Christ uh, because He's loved me, and His same love that He's shown me through His love for the church is to be that same self-giving, self-sacrificing love that I'm supposed to show Taylor. Truly, I want to make it so easy when you show me the truth. 